Okay, this is the Sky Watcher Infinity, and this is a Celestron Extra Polar uh, Explorer Scope. Which one I prefer? Uh, I've not tested much on this, but movements are easy in this one. Movements are very difficult in this one. You may say it's a sturdy. Speaker, of course, gives a good clear image. But field of view with this eyepiece is limited, so I suppose that we can use another eyepiece with this. This is a standard eyepiece. There is a goo or grease here that uh, is applied to hold this eyepiece together. There is also a kind of uh, glass here which makes it cut a dirt prick somehow. And uh, so these are the points that I have. Uh, the image it provides is clear, as far as I could see, it's cloudy outside, so I really cannot be a good judge on that. I saw the moon be from behind the clouds, reasonably good, and uh, if I use a long, uh, uh, wider, wider, field, true field of view, eyepiece probably gives me a good wide angle, rich field. Yes. Um, so far my impression is that this is really easy, super easy to move and target. This is difficult to move and I already see a crack here. It's not a crack, but this is where the telescope is built. The good news is that you can actually adjust the telescope's mirror from here, which is rare for this. With this one is fixed, you cannot do that. So there are points and there uh, are weaknesses in both of them I think this is perfect for my purpose the only nagging is that the eyepiece has a, a special uh, spiral shape that you, you have to use their own eyepiece unless you cut the modify cut the groove that actually is there inside it and I point you to it here these two if you cut them snap them by a plier you can use any normal one one and a quarter inch eyepiece on this other than that uh, I've not much used this one definitely not seen the moon clear because I've seen the moon through a cloud and it's bigger but it's in, uh, four millimeter bigger probably and in the mirror size I'm talking about it looks funny uh, not as easy as this to move and at the same time the price is the same this is discontinued, probably because of the problems they had. This has yet been production, and you can find it and buy it. And uh, I recommend when you buy this one, get the... Uh, uh, there's a German shop, uh, German website, that actually sell the wide-angle eyepiece for this. That's a 15 times one, 20 millimeter eyepiece. Get that one, because that will be really helpful for you when you want to use it as a rich field telescope, which is really what I recommend. And uh, this one I have to test it yet on a clear night.